Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have another exciting snack crate to try. If you're not familiar, Snack Crate is a subscription box. We get it every month. This box is the original size. Uh, it's the medium size, so there's one larger, one smaller. And uh, this one's about $24, $25, uh, shipping included. Until next month when they raise it to $30. Oh, no! And then we'll decide if we want to keep getting it or not. We're undecided. We might go with a different subscription box. Yeah. We get a couple of different ones. This one we've been getting for a while. So yeah. we've had a couple of duplicates. Not too bad, though. Not, not too bad. But, um, you know, I think we'd like to give another... Uh, subscription box and a, a, a go but yeah uh, probably not because of the cost increase but just because we want to try new things yeah so we are considering universal yums but if you have a subscription box suggestion let us know down in the comments that's right okay so snack crate always gives a little a little um, hint in the salutation Mm -hmm. On the box? Yeah, and this one says O-L-A, so Ola without the H. Okay. So, I don't know where that would be from. I mean, Ola is usually like a Spanish word, but it's spelled differently, so. Yeah. No. I don't know. If you know, you know. I don't know. There's no point in guessing because, you know. By the time you watch this, you already will know what it is because it'll be in the title. That's All right. All right, but let them see first. There we go. Portugal. Portugal. Interesting. Nice. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so there's a little fact sheet on Portugal and then a sheet that explains what the snacks are. My heat is that. I'll unpack. <laughs> Wow, look at all that. All right. All right, there you have it. That's a lot of snacks this time. I feel like there's extra snacks because several of them are little ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, we usually start with the crispy one, oh, the savory <laughs> bits. All right, wait, let's see. Which one's gonna be? Yeah, let's try this. We know this brand, right? Lay's, they, I feel like they're everywhere. I see. Garlic and tomato and basil. So this is called Lay's Campesinas. Made with only the finest ingredients, these light, crispy, and slightly sweet potato mm. chips are flavored with fresh vegetables from Avo's Garden. Avo's Garden? I don't know. A-V-O apostrophe <laughs> yes. so, okay. yeah, I don't know. All right. Let's give them a try. They crisp. smell good. Did you smell them? Cheers. I did not. Ooh, they do smell good. Mmm. Those are nice. Those are good. Different. They remind me of something, though. Uh-huh. Kind of like, to me, it kind of tastes like light, like barbecue chips, light flavored. Mm-hmm. We've had some from somewhere before, maybe Spain, um, that were paprika. Oh, yeah. They're kind of in that same family, that same vibe. Oh, somebody said in our comments that they got snacks from Spain and oh, they yeah. had egg chips. Yeah, we had fr the fried egg chips too before and they were so good. Yeah. It's crazy how it smelled just like yeah. eggs. Yeah, so congratulations on that find. Those are amazing. I like these very much. Me too. All right, I we're like off to a good start. Next, we know this brand too, but these we don't have. Cheetos sticks. Do they have Cheetos sticks where you live? Let us know. I've, ne I've never seen these before. Cheetos Palitos. Tangy, cheesy, and easy to eat. These crunchy and unique Cheetos sticks taste like you just dipped your favorite French fries in ketchup. Mmm. So, John made uh. these. <laughs> All right. So they're kind of puffy. Yep. But they're smaller than a regular like puffy Cheeto. Kind of shaped like a fry. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 
I it's like those too. Good. Winner. Winner. I'm not okay. really getting ketchup vibes with it, but. I'm not either. It's cheesy. But it's different than what we're used to. So the cheese is different. So yeah. that's probably where the flavor comes in, the ketchup flavor. Yum. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? I, I like the, the Lay's. Uh, I think that's I do. really good. We, we'll compare those now because the next one is completely different. This is crispy apple sticks with cinnamon. These are called fruit chips. The doctor always said an apple a day, but she also never said anything about it being dried into crispy strips and coated in cinnamon sugar. Smells good. Also smells like it could make me cough. Like <laughs> the cinnamon. Uh, they, they look like. Definitely look like. Um, They're kind of like shoestring potatoes. Real apple. Cheers. Cheers. I like the flavor. I don't like the texture. And the texture. This is kind of crunchy hard. Sort of. <laughs> and then it goes soft, so. For me, it tastes a little stale. And sometimes that's not the country, that's not the manufacturer's fault. Sometimes it's how long it takes us to get things, so. Yeah. They taste a little stale to me. It's okay. Yeah, they're all right. It's all right. Mm. Dollar to vending machine. I'm going these for sure. Me too. Second choice would be these. I think these will get eaten. I think they're okay. The flavor is super nice. It's a really good pure apple flavor. I'm not just down with the texture. That's the only thing. Yeah. There you have it. There you have it. Okay. All right. Now over them. I'm going to try this because I believe it has nuts in it. Toreo nougat. This Portuguese specialty is made with crushed peanuts and caramelized sugar, resulting in a wildly addictive sweet and crunchy snack. That sounds like something I would love. Sounds like something I would love. I have a nut allergy if you knew, so I'm not going to try it. Ooh, it Let is me definitely... see it though. See? Mm, it kind of looks like a brittle. Yeah, for sure. Brittle. Like my teeth. Yeah, make sure the things that are rolling around in your mouth are not one of your teeth. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Oh, I love that. Um, it's not as sweet as like caramel corn. But same kind of vibes, but oh. with popcorn. I mean, not popcorn, with peanuts. peanuts. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Really mm. good. When I used to be able to eat Cracker Jacks, my favorite part was the nuts covered in the same kind of caramel stuff as the corn. Oh, uh, that's what, it gives me that vibe. Because you know? <gasps> it's kind of like, that caramel on there is kind of like, and the Cracker Jacks is kind of, I don't know, had like a burn, not burn, but it's over then I would take it for popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, like a deep. Yes. Caramel. Okay. Yes. Next. Next, what are we doing here? You want to do these? Tartlets. Tartlets. Strawberry. Uh, there you go. Okay. Good. This delicate shortbread cookie is filled with a real strawberry puree. 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 <laughs> Making each bite taste like summertime on the golden beaches of Algarve. Algarve, I don't know. I don't know where that's this at. Is... Probably in Portugal. <laughs> Thanks. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah. Sticky, Cheers. the top's a little sticky. Mmm. <laughs> I like these. I mean, kind of it's like jammy a dodger vibes. Yeah, it's like a shortbread cookie yep. with a little puree. Mm. Mm -hmm. We don't even like strawberry like that, but those are good. I like it like that. That's good. <laughs> I would prefer it was a different fruit. I think I'd like it much better if it were like raspberry or something. Oh, yeah. But I like it all right. Let us know if these come in other flavors if you know. Okay. Next. 
that one? Oh, I see it. It's a Maria biscuit. Okay. That's what it is. A symbol of Portugal's economic recovery after the Spanish Civil War. This rich biscuit is best dunked in tea or crumbled over a sweet Ouch. custard. They kind of look like a medallion or like a coin. Oh, wow. That's cool. Sort of. I don't know if they're supposed to, but they do. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Perfect for dunking. Oh, yeah. Definitely a tea biscuit. Mm-hmm. Super light. Good flavor. Mm-hmm. Yum. Okay. So, of those similar items, you probably like the peanut thing the best, right? It's a it's a fight between that and these tartlets. Really? I really do like these, but I think they went out. Yeah, so the Toreo nougat, which I don't even know. It doesn't seem like a nougat to me. Yeah. Um, I'll put that number one. Tartlets, number two. And then the Maria. Yeah, the Maria three. biscuits. Yep. I prefer Nothing wrong with those. the tartlet um, with the with the jam, the extra flavor um, over this one, but I like them both. All right. Okay. Now. Ooh, now we got all these sugary sweet bits. Um, we've had something like this before, and I loved them. They, those look. Great. I love certain fruits. If you if you've been around, then you know certain things. We love the artificial flavor, but not the real fruit, like blueberries and, I don't know, can't think of another example. <laughs> blueberries in particular. Um, bananas, we like both the fruit and the artificial fruit. However, it's kind of like grapes. I love grapes and I love grape flavor, but grape flavor tastes nothing like actual grapes right. to me. Yeah, yeah. I kind of feel like bananas the same way. Thinny jelly bananas. Who would have guessed that these soft, sweet, and chewy, sugar-coated jelly bananas would make for a seriously appealing snack? Uh, appealing. appealing. Get it? O M G Z. Yeah. Smell this. Woo! That's banana flavor. I mean scent or whatever. Here you go, little banana for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, we gotta peel it from the bottom, right? Okay. I'm not giving you, I'm choosing you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. They're super spongy and soft. Mmm. You're never gonna see those again. <laughs> you eat your nut thing. <laughs> These are gonna be gone. Those are good. Mmm. I love these. They do have like a sugary coating. There's a little tang to them. A little bit. A little bit. It's that super artificial banana flavor. Yeah. Like runts. You know the bananas that come in runts? Oh, That's I love that. a lot them. of it. Mmm. Mmm. So good. All right, I'll save that for later. Delicious. Delicious. Haribo, you know that little company. Spaghetti. <laughs> I feel like, is Haribo in every country? They're just off doing their oh. thing. Everywhere yeah. you see Haribo. Anytime we get a snack crate, I feel like from any place in the world, there's something Haribo. Pretty much. Haribo spaghetti. Treat your taste buds to one bite of these sweet and sour strawberry gummy strands. And it will be impastable not to eat the whole bag. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I love the writers of snack cake. <laughs> oh, that smells like uber artificial strawberry. Uber. Doesn't it? Yep. Aw. That one was disappointing. <laughs> trying to get you a good one. I think they're all like that. Yep, they're little. Oh. All right. Thanks. Too bad we don't have a death. Cheers. Texture is nice. Sour. Mmm. Mmm, they're good. Yeah, the strawberry's good. Mmm. See, I like that strawberry flavor much better than, say, like Starburst strawberry. Mm-hmm. I'll go through a whole bag of Starburst. 
And leave the strawberry ones. Yeah, and then when he gets desperate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes back. Till last. You know what I think would be so, these would be so good if they were blueberry. Like mm. artificial blueberry flavor, a little bit sour, a little bit sweet. Yeah. So yeah, Haribo, get on it. Those are good though. I like mm. them. I like them a lot. All right, are we still in um, Candy Land? fruity world? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is an orange on this package. Oh, all right. Let's see. Sugus Caramellos, I think is what it says. They look right like, there. speaking of Starburst, that's exactly what they mm. look like. Sweeten up your day with these soft and delicious fruit chews made with real juice from oranges, pineapples, lemons, strawberries, and cherries. They're all in here? Or I don't the different so. ones are orange and pineapple and... See, the, the one that they're showing here is like an assortment. But I don't think um, we got an assortment. I think we all of ours are orange. Because, you know, I heard, day. I heard pineapple. Yeah, that would have been good. But... I like orange very much too. We are on an orange kick, all things orange in our house ever since we're in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Close on that. Mmm. Oh, that's a good orange. Good orange flavor. Whoa. Those are better than Starburst. Yes. By yes, far. Sir. Mmm. That is good flavor. You can tell that's natural flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Oh my gosh, those are good. Whoa. Now I need... What other flavors? Tell me again. Say it slower. <laughs> <laughs> Oranges, pineapples, lemons, strawberries, and cherries. I would like to try mm. the cherry. Cherry and pineapple. Oh, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. What are these things? Nobody knows. Gorilla. Tutti Frutti. Banana. Passion fruit. And what's this one? Mint. Strange never, that there's a mint. Never <laughs> have I seen a chewy candy like this that's mint. You should eat a Tutti Frutti. That's fitting. Mm. Oh, and wow. I'll, should I eat mint or banana? Um, whatever you want. I don't know. Is there a banana? Yeah. Oh, there's banana. Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't look like there's a description for these things, so... I don't want to eat mint. I was going to eat mint just because it's so different. Maybe I'll we'll eat it at the end. Because I don't want mint to, like... we got a couple other things to try. You know Mess with your palate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, no, it is. So these open up and they kind of remind me of like Bazooka Joe bubble gum. I was thinking the same thing. And it thing. comes with a little thing here. What is this? Like in Bazooka gum, you can open and there used to be like tattoos in them or a cartoon in them or yeah. whatever. Is that still a thing? If you know, let us know. There's, there's like this, but I don't. I don't know what that is. Do you got? You have one too. Same thing. Nope, no, it's different. Oh, Maybe it's like collect all the things. You know. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. I'm just gonna eat a little bit so you can try it too later. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. What kind did you pick? Tutti, Tutti frutti. That's right. Is this gum? Yep. <laughs> 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 it's good. Mm. No wonder it looks like Bazooka, Bazooka Joe because it's gum. And no wonder there's mint. Yeah. Also, have I ever had banana gum in my life? I don't think I have. Uh -oh. And why haven't I? I didn't even know that existed. Mmm, I love it. Good flavor. I like the Tutti Frutti. Come through Portugal. That, those are yum. What do you have? Tutti, Tutti fruity. fruity. Hmm. Okay. Here, smell my banana. <laughs> That's good. Forecast calls for a little bit of rain. <laughs> yeah. Tiny little umbrella. Regina umbrella. 
Since 1928, Regina has been one of the most beloved chocolate brands in Portugal. And these delicious milk chocolate umbrellas are here to prove it. Milk chocolate umbrella? Interesting. Impossible. Interesting. Inconceivable. Thank you. You're welcome. That's chocolate. Mm-hmm. That's all right. I mean, I like it mm -hmm. fine, but it's just plain milk chocolate. Yep. Um, I like it's got a little stick, so... You or the kids don't get uh, chocolate all over their hands, you know what I mean? Oh, kids can still get chocolate everywhere, no, no matter what you do. That's true. All right, and what are these? Nobody knows. Oh, they're not on the thing? They are not on the thing. I don't think they're on the thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, they are. Flacos de nieve. Nieve. Ne whatever. The perfect treat to keep in your pocket for those sudden sugar cravings. These little snowflake card candies boast a wonderfully fruity flavor. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes like bubblegum to me. Ah, oh, you ruined it. How? Bubblegum flavor is horrible. I love bubblegum flavor. Does it taste like bubblegum to you? A little bit. It just tastes kind of fruity right now. But it's like um, kind of subtle now. You might have to get into it a little bit. Before. I like those a lot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of taste like bubblegum. Mm-hmm. Wait, you wasted one. <laughs> All right. One more thing. Okay. Pinta Rolas. A long time that favorite for the children of Portugal, these brightly colored and sugar coated chocolate chips make for the perfect treat to share. Oh, m and Brightly colored and still not as neon as <laughs> M&M's are. I love this Thank green you. color. Yeah, it's a nice green color. I feel like most countries have this too, right? M&M's, Smarties. Crunchy coating on the outside, chocolate on the inside. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. I like the container. You don't need plastic. You know, this is extra plastic. That would be a knock. But I do like that they don't get, you know, like M&Ms, if you open them, then they get scattered about. Scattered all That's why you got to eat them all. Mm-hmm. Before they melt. Okay. They just won't melt in your hands. How? Yes, they would you rank, rate all of this stuff, or rank it? <laughs> all of this rank, stuff? Rank, I mean. Um, let's see. As far as, like, the stuff We have the umbrella. Tried. Yeah. Um, jelly bananas, number one for me. Then the um, orange chews. And the strawberry, I believe. Those little things? Those little oh, gum? Oh, and then there's these. Yeah. Um, so. I have a real mess going over here. I'll put these pintarolas next. And the umbrella down here. And then those other things kind of go last. So jelly bananas number one though, and the orange, those are really good flavors. How would you rank them? I'm thinking. Um, the orange things are number one for me. Oh, wow. I loved I'm them. Shocked. I loved yeah. them. Um, mm -hmm. In between, and then the bananas. I also really, really enjoyed those. And then between those, I loved the banana gum. Now, would I rate all of them the right. same? Probably not, but banana gum, never have I ever. Um, so probably those next than these oh. i really i don't know if i've ever had like a bubble gum i know they're fruit flavor but to me they kind of taste like bubble gum and that's just you know it's a toddler fruit kind of thing that i love sure. um and they're different so i'm i always give high marks to things that we cannot get or that we've never seen so that we can get like sour spaghetti here so that's why i mean that is my kind of snack but that's why it's going a little bit lower and then because we can get things like this here 
um, at Maybe the Maybe not in the shape of an umbrella, but no, that's you know, cool. milk chocolate, very good. These natural tasting, oh my gosh, now I want the pineapple ones and the cherry For sure. ones. For sure, they were Those really good. Those are amazing, 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 amazing. Can't tell you. I don't enough. think you liked them. <laughs> Can't tell you how much I like them. So, do you have any interesting facts you want to share with us about Portugal? Let's see. Portugal is the oldest country in Europe, dating back to 1139. Additionally, Portugal's capital, Lisbon, is said to be centuries older than Rome. Interesting. Hmm. I did not know that. Port wine, a sweet red fortified wine, is Portugal's national drink and one of the country's largest exports. Hmm. Nice. nice. We don't drink, but I do like port. Portugal holds the record for the shortest and longest reigning monarchs. Enrique of Portugal was the king of Portugal for more than 73 years. Wow. And uh, then Luis Felipe, on the other hand, was king for only 20 minutes. Hmm. Interesting. That is short. How does that work? I don't know that much about um, monarchy. Oh boy, I don't want to get in trouble either. <laughs> I don't, don't want to get that in trouble. Pot. Here's what I want to know. How often... Um, is somebody, or does it vary by country whether um, the person has to pass on versus um, they're not able to do their job anymore? So somebody oh. steps in for them. Like, does that vary from country to country? I mean, we don't know Probably. anything about that here. Um, you know, because yeah. we do things differently here. And, you know, sometimes I feel sad that we're not that way because there's some presidents I'd like to hang on to. And then sometimes I'm very, very, very glad that it's not that way. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Enough said. So anyway, but I, but that, that is um, something I've always wondered. Yeah. So anyway, this was a great box. There was nothing in here that we were like, mm -hmm. you know, the only knock I had was I didn't love the texture of that and that could just be the age of it or the, yeah, the fruit. whatever. Um, but I really enjoyed this box. This was fun. Yeah, it was a really good box. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let us know if you have ever been to Portugal. I don't know that much about it, but the pictures that I've seen make it look so beautiful. Yeah. All right, so if you are from Portugal, have ever visited Portugal, have tried any of these snacks from Portugal before, come to the comment section and let us know all the things. Tell us other interesting facts or maybe where you're from or what you did on your trip there, sites to see, whatever, or what other flavors these things come in. We would love to hear. We always do. We always find yeah. that super interesting absolutely uh also come find us on social media if you haven't we are most active on instagram we've been a little bit less active there there's something going on with our instagram we're having some issues with posting and yeah. um, so anyways on instagram's part things are turning upside down and sideways and and whatever and we have to redo it over and over and over again so we've been a little less active but that's a great place to find us yes. um instagram and we're we're trying to work through that so anyway instagram and our instagram feeds to facebook if you're on facebook come find us there as well uh we also have another channel where we vlog and do diys and take you traveling so you can check us out there we also have a game channel so right. links to this channel and the other channels will be in the comments of this video now if you love travel and trying foods from faraway places. Yes. Or Snack Crate. Yeah. Or us. Or, or the, the video. video. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.